Hello and welcome to another Ableton Live tutorial. This is Jeff from Medium Academy, and today we'll be taking a look at EQ8, which is one of Ableton's native EQ devices. As implied in the name, EQ8 comes with eight customizable EQ bands. These bands can be turned on and off at the bottom, and their filter types changed within each band's drop-down menu. The filter types available are High Pass, Shelf, Bell, Notch, and low pass. The normal low and high pass filters cut off frequencies at a rate of 6 decibels per octave. For a more drastic cutoff, EQ8 provides an additional set of filters, which roll off at a rate of 24 decibels per octave. On the left side are the band controls. The frequency knob controls where the current band's center frequency is. For high and low pass filters, this serves as the cutoff frequency. The Q knob controls the current band's resonance or bandwidth. The Gain knob controls how much a bell or shelf filter is boosting or cutting by. Note that for high pass, low pass, and notch filters, no gain setting is available. The right side hosts a variety of other options. The mode menu lets you switch between stereo, midsize, and left-right EQ modes. In mid-side mode, you can use the edit switch to control two EQ curves that affect the mono and stereo signals separately. In left-right mode, these two EQ curves are split between the left and right signals. Adaptive Q is a feature that allows your bell filters to affect the same range of frequencies regardless of its gain setting. The scale slider affects how drastically your bell and shelf filters boost or cut in their respective bands. You can even use this feature to invert these filters. At the bottom, EQ8 has an output gain adjustment, allowing you to make up for any added or lost gain during the EQ process. At the top are two buttons. The Analyze button toggles the display of the frequency analyzer, showing you the frequencies being used in the current track. To the left of that is the Audition Mode Toggle. With this feature on, you can choose to hear only the frequencies that a filter is affecting by clicking on it in the middle window. EQ8 Spectrum can be enlarged by clicking on the arrow icon at the top left. The resulting window can be resized to your preference and will remain visible when editing other plugins and devices. When this display is toggled, the filter control will change so that each band's control knobs are visible simultaneously. By right-clicking on EQ8's title bar, you can turn on oversampling mode. This mode turns EQ8 into a linear phase EQ, which essentially gives you a higher quality sound at the expense of introducing some latency to your track. If this sounds confusing, a quick Google search on linear phase EQ should clear things up. And that covers all of EQ8's features. To learn more about Ableton native devices, and for more video tutorials, visit edmacademy.net.